Hello you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Sief and welcome back. There is this one Mario Maker obstacle which I always wanted to cover, but whenever I tried to come up with something cool, I had troubles to find ideas with it. So I asked you for help, I asked you to send me cool ideas with bloopers and wow, you guys delivered. So today we are finally trying to make bloopers great. Are you ready? Let's do this. Our first idea features a really cool blooper trick. If our plumber is wearing a shell, he's able to push bloopers upwards. We use this mechanic here in order to create a small puzzle. This fire clown car is in an unreachable spot, but if Mario bounces the blooper directly above it, the blooper will take control over the clown car and start to shoot. Now Mario only has to wait for one of the fireballs to hit a block and he's able to escape. Our next idea features not only a blooper, but a wiggler as well. Here a plumber has to jump on top of this blooper wiggler combo enemy if he wants to reach the next area. While this may seem rather easy, it's actually really tough as the blooper moves in a random pattern. Next up is a really cool, cute little blooper puzzle. Mario needs to get the Koopa. This blooper is carrying if he wants to reach the next area. But the blooper seems to drop the Koopa always too soon. Luckily Mario is able to manipulate the blooper's movement as he will always rise up if Mario is above him. So if our plumber jumps at the right moment, the blooper delivers the Koopa to him. A lot of you suggested a small minigame, where Mario has to jump on top of the bloopers for a specific time. If he jumps on top of the small baby bloopers, he is able to jump up to 5 times on a single blooper. My favorite level you sent me, built around this idea, is this one. Not only is it a really cool idea to imprison Mario in a blooper circle, but the timer in this stage is awesome and something I haven't seen done before. And now, things are getting dangerous. Let's take a look on some blooper boss fights you sent me. Here bloopers are shot in constant waves through these cannons. Mario needs to activate three power blocks if he wants to escape. While he waits for the pause, the arena becomes smaller and smaller and things become even more dangerous before he's finally able to leave the first blooper boss. And enters the second one. This blooper teamed up with some spinies to create one of the most fearsome creatures ever seen. This beast is invincible until all the spinies drop from his head. Mario needs to lure the demon high up into the skies where these ice blocks are able to push the spinies away and make it possible for Mario to kill the creature. He barely survived this boss fight, but there is one more to come. But luckily this one is less dangerous. Here our plumber has to survive on top of three platforms until a timer ends. While this room is pretty easy at first, things become more dangerous the longer Mario is here. After some time lava bubbles enter the arena and these pop bombs explode, setting the two bloopers free. Let's quickly talk about some smaller ideas featuring bloopers. If you put bloopers on top of Monty Moles in such a setup, you can create a pretty deadly obstacle for Mario. Bloopers can be used as alternative platforms as well. If you put them on tracks, we use this here to create a tricky platform challenge. It's possible to create a race against the blooper. All you need to do is to put a bullet blaster on top of a blooper. After a short while, the blooper drops the cannon and if Mario wasn't fast enough, the exit becomes blocked. Here Mario has to time his jumps carefully if he wants to avoid dying. If a blooper is shot out of a cannon, he will stay in one place for a short time before he starts to move. If you put a bullet blaster on top of a blooper, you can create a moving wall jump challenge in the new Super Mario Bros. Wii theme. Here we have a really cool idea that can be used to create down jump levels. This blooper carries a P-switch and Mario has to be careful not to trigger it, as it will turn the floor into shiny yet deadly coins. If Mario jumps, the blooper will rise as well, so the best way to avoid falling down here is to avoid jumping. In our next idea, Mario has to ride a blooper plane. Our plumber is able to manipulate whether the blooper moves right or left. So all Mario needs to do is to stand precisely on the right side in order to make it to the exit. 
Before we move to our next idea, let me tell you a quick story. I actually always thought bloopers are pretty useless. They move in a very specific random pattern and have no super special standalone abilities. But one day, I discovered this comment by Mario Maker user Joseph. He asked me if maybe I can do a tips, tricks and ideas video about bloopers, because he still believed in them, while I gave up on them long time ago. He added a level featuring tons of cool blooper ideas, and my mind was blown away by it. There was this really cool timed jumps blooper challenge, where Mario had to make his way through some deadly squids. There was this elevator where Mario had to carefully manipulate the path of a blooper to make it to the top. There was this wall jump challenge where a plumber had to wall jump faster than a Monty Mole could rise to the top as the Monty Mole had bloopers on his head which would have closed the exit. There was this amazing bonus room minigame where Mario had to spin jump on top of a spiky for as long as possible in order to collect as many coins as he desires. There was this really cute climb the tower challenge where our plumber had to jump with precise timing through moving bloopers. There was this push the blooper or hack the saw blade challenge where Mario had to push a blooper clown car as fast as possible. And there were even more really cool ideas. The stage got me thinking. Maybe bloopers were really cool enemies. So I asked you all for help and this is what we all together were able to come up with. So a big thank you to everyone who sent me a blooper idea. And now, back to blooper ideas. A blooper will always stay one block above Mario. We use this here in order to create a no jump minigame. Our plumber has to avoid the fireballs this piranha plant is shooting towards him until the timer to the right runs out. If you put bloopers on top of chain jumps, it's possible to create a really cool platforming challenge. Mario has to bounce on bloopers while the circular dogs run to the right like crazy. Bloopers on tracks make some awesome underwater enemies. Here our plumber has to swim carefully through the squid trains on tracks. It's possible to slightly adopt the challenge by giving the bloopers wings or mushrooms. Here Mario is in a really awful situation. There is a huge blooper tower on his right trying to hurt him. His only chance of surviving is to swim down as fast as possible. But there are saw blades along his way. And now let's take a look on something really awesome. The loopers are able to create a randomizer in Super Mario Maker. This setup will push Mario either to the right or left whenever he enters this room by random. This room looks pretty peaceful at first, but sadly it's not, as it is raining bloopers in this world. Mario has to carefully dodge the squids while he waits for the P-switch to activate. And now, let's take a look on my favorite blooper idea you sent me. I proudly present to you, brought to us by Mario Maker user Papa, the blooper bubble. Mario is trapped in a squid bubble. How he got here? I have no idea. But it doesn't matter anymore. All that matters now for Mario is to swim and to avoid all the deadly threats that are along his way. There are chain chumps trying to bite him, cheap cheeps trying to consume him, and then there is of course the bubble itself. Will he make it? We shall see. A huge thank you again for everyone who sent me a blooper idea. There were so many cool tricks I would have never figured out on my own. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially squid today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. The next few videos might take a little bit longer than usual as I currently have a lot of stuff to do, but I hope to see you soon and that you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!